Hey guys, this is Jed. I just get ready to watch my favorite television show, Roseanne, and my digital video disc player that I got from Walmart a few months ago stopped working. Now, if you know me, I know how to fix things, so I thought maybe I'll put a video together on how to fix your DVD player because sometimes you just need somebody like me to help you in these situations. Let, let me tell you what's going on here. Now, as you can see, if I eject the disc, I got that beautiful Roseanne sitting in that disc player. Now, when I go to load the disc, this is what happens. Let me set this down here in one continuous shot. I will show you what is going on with my digital disc, disc player. That DVD starts to load and it starts to load, it keeps loading like it's going to work. And then it says bad disc. Now I've tried multiple Roseanne's and it says bad disc. So, what we're going to do, we're going to fix this DVD player. So guys, this is Uncle Jed with another tutorial how to fix your DVD player when it says bad disc and doesn't load. So bear with me. Let me get the camera in the, in the uh, right angle so we can get this DVD fixed and I can watch my favorite television program, Roseanne. Alright guys, first thing you want to do is take out your Roseanne DVD or whatever DVD you might be trying to play. Next step, we're going to disconnect the power supply. So you go ahead and go ahead and unplug it. Go ahead and unplug that. Oh, I left the tray on. Now you just push that back in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect these wires because we don't need them right now. Because we're going to fix the DVD player, but we don't need the TV on. So, okay, how's that look, guys? Yeah. See this okay? Got the damn shadows that come in on me in my workshop. Okay. So what we're looking at, we're looking at, let me back this out. We're looking at screw here, a screw here, a screw here. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Unscrew all this Fast forward the video and then uh, come back to fixing it here in a minute I got my work lights out. Let's get this DVD player open. A couple more screws here. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. See what why my DVD why my DVD ain't working. We gonna figure this out. I wanted to watch some Roseanne tonight and I can't understand why my DVD quit working uh, we're gonna get down in the in the electronics and figure this out guys let me zoom up while I do the technicals and figure out why my DVD Quit working. Let's try to open this up now, guys. 
Holy sheesh! Wow! That's why my DVD ding ain't working no more. My old snake Barry got in there. Scared the piss out of me. Barry, are you alive? You alive, Barry? Nah, I don't think Barry's alive. That's it, folks. That's why my DVD quit working. It looks like Barry, Barry crawled in there and got stuck. Crawled in my DVD player and got stuck. Quit working. Damn it. I wonder what happened to you, Barry. Now I know. Okay, guys. Well, hey, let's put this back together and see if my Roseanne DVD started working and then I could say I fixed my DVD player. Okay I got Roseanne in let's let's put that DVD in there and see what happens. By golly I'll fix that DVD player. Holy cow. Now see guys. Now see guys. Now see guys. And that's how you fix a DVD player. You open that sucker up and you see if you got a snake in there or another critter that might be blocking that disc from playing. That's all you gotta do guys, open that DVD player and check the insides. Sometimes you might have to take a hammer to it, but other than that, I fixed my DVD player. Until the next video, I'm out, I'm Uncle Jed, and this is how to fix the DVD player.